it's Amelia Onnen from the blog UnorganizedCrazyPerfection.com and today I am starting my new series called Fix It Friday and um, so I'm going to be showing you how to fix certain things um, all different kinds of stuff today I'm going to be doing a how to fix ceramic figurines like if you break a you know like figurine or anything really ceramic that you know you don't eat out of or drink out of around the house. I'm going to show you how to fix that really quick and it's not just ceramic it can be plaster as well. So I'm going to show you how to do that today and I hope you enjoy this um, new segment of Fix It Fridays and sorry about the backdrop uh, or there's no backdrop Sorry about the background. I had to switch directions in my office. There's my desk, or desk and uh, bag of stuffed animals hanging. So sorry about that, but I had to because of the light and it was just crazy. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Okay. Try to get right over the top of it. Maybe. So the first thing I have that um, that we recently moved and some of our stuff got broken the move, and I collect old vintage owl things for my kitchen, and this is a like a plaster owl. Um, decoration I got and it's quite big and it broke in two so we are going to fix this today also there's several little chips let me show you up here chip there chip up there so this is the first thing we're going to be fixing today what you need is um, fix it all adhesive which I love this stuff you can get it at the so the original super glue at the Dollar Tree for a buck. And then any colors of paints you might need. I have an assortment of colors and some paint brushes. Um, and since the chips aren't too severe, I'm probably not going to remodel them um, too much because I don't really need to. So the first thing we're going to do is just gonna glue the main two parts back together. And that's pretty self-explanatory. And you just stick the glue on there. And I would suggest working on um, a um, cardboard piece of cardboard or newspaper just in case. And I put quite a bit of glue on there because I want to make sure it stays. And also I kind of want some of this glue to kind of seep out of the cracks to help fill in the cracks. So we just smush them back together. Ooh. Like so. Now see how this is a little um I have to kind of pick this area up because of how it was formed. So I need to find something that I can shove underneath there, which I have cardboard right here. To help, oops, not that much. Pick that up with just a tad bit. Okay. So not fitting right. It might take a few times to get it to fit just right. Um. Okay, so once you got that, also it's really easy to move it around with on the cardboard, that way you don't have to actually move the figurine. So I'm going to let that dry. 
completely oh. and I usually let it dry let's see how long it says to let it dry three hours full cure is 24 hours so I let it dry quite a bit I usually leave it for a day um, but as that's drying we can go ahead and fix the cracks or not the cracks, the chips so we got two pretty good socks. I moved it too much. So we have these cracks right here. Sorry, my table is kind of a mess, but um, how we fix these bad boys, which I'm going to try to get them. There we go, in the center a little bit more. Is you can either build it up with some plaster, um, Paris or whatever you have. I usually use wood fillant for all my sculpting needs because I like how it's stainable and everything but these aren't too bad so I'm not going to really worry about them that much because they just barely have chips on them and I think that um, I don't really need to build them up that much I might put like a dot of glue right there to help make it a little bit more pointier. Okay, <clears throat> and you can also use hot glue or glue if it's a small chip and you just want it to have a little bit more depth to it. So we're going to start up here and that's a brown and a dark brown color. So you literally just fill in the chip with paint these aren't too bad because um, they're not so noticeable and they're on the log so And how I paint this stuff is I just dab it on. That way you really don't have a lot of um, stroke. Like you don't have to like, you don't see the brush strokes. Okay, so as you can see, this is not the same color as this. It's a darker brown. So we are going to go ahead and just put a little bit of black on there. And a lot of times I use my fingers to blend it. And see, you can't even tell there was a chip there. Hardly at all. It's almost completely gone. This bad boy up here. We're just going to go ahead and. Now, that glue that I put on there is not completely dry, and that's okay. As long as it can hold its shape pretty well. Um. You can usually lightly paint over it and it will help um, you be able to form it a little bit as you're painting.
I've actually had to repair this quite a bit because the so there is his ear. I might try to move him around so you can see him from the front. That is where I repaired it. You can only see it kind of doesn't blend out just a tad bit. Let me do a better view. Maybe. So that is his ear right there that I just repaired. So it looks like he needs a little it to be a little bit pointier. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it the glue and I'm just going to work it out a little bit. Pull it out little by little like so. Till I get the shape I want. I mean, I think that's pretty close. I like that. I think that looks pretty good. So I'm just saying, let that finish drying. And we will let the crack finish drying. And as soon as it's all dried, I will show you how to um, paint the crack. So. Next. <clears throat> we have two ceramic things today we're fixing, actually. Just because I am very clumsy, I guess, when it comes to moving. This <clears throat> little vintage spoon holder. There we go, that's much better. This little vintage spoon holder, um, he got cracked, so we're going to fix him today. His head fell off. I really don't remember how I cracked him. Isn't he cute? Look at me. He's like, ah! He's so cute. So... Sorry for all the camera adjusting. I'm still kind of trying to get used to it. Okay, so I'm going just to use the same glue I used before to fix it all. <coughs> or fix all adhesive from the original super glue. And we are just going to attach his head back to his body. Very simple like. Just put glue on there. I'm pretty sure everybody knows how to glue something together, but I really do like this fix-all. And I, this is a decoration for me. I don't usually use it, so I'm not really worried about the super glue being around food or whatever. I hang this on the wall. And then I'm going to take another cheap paintbrush. I like using these cheap ones because paintbrushes are expensive. So when I'm doing like projects like this that it doesn't really matter how good it looks or not how good it looks but it doesn't like I don't need a good paintbrush for I buy I buy a couple packs of these cheap one paintbrushes every now and again and just keep them on hand. So what you're going to I'm not even showing you what I'm doing. What you're going to do is when you glue them together there's going to be a bubble of glue. You're going to take your paintbrush and you're just going to go ahead and smooth that over because it is a small crack and small working area. Okay, so and you want to do that on the inside too. See all that? I can't see that good. There's glue in there. You just smooth the glue over the crack. Little crack. So, don't let him, his head fall off while you're doing it. And see how this is chipped right here? I'm just going to put a little bit of glue in there just to help seal that off. 
it's on the back so I'm not going to worry about making it look good or better I guess and if you want to you can add just a little bit of glue over the crack and do the same thing I was doing brush it into the crack okie dokie now you can't really tell he's been cracked there's only a few spots like right here and right here but we're going to fix them up anyways a little bit. Sometimes you have to hold them together for a few seconds or minutes just to um, make sure they stick well. So that's drying. I'm going to go ahead and fix these little patches of crack. They're not in the crack, so I don't have to wait for the glue to dry. They're actually on the out. They're chips around the crack. So I'm just going to take some very light gray and just dab it in there. Hold them together while you do it. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to clean them up around there. I think there's some in here, too. Sorry, I can't see what I'm doing. I mean, you can wait for it to dry if you want to. That's, that's a personal preference. preference. I really don't care one way or the other. And then I'm also going to take them down here. some cracks over here too. Okay, so he's not a solid bear color. Like, he's not solid gray. At all. He has some white to him, so we're going to take just a pitch of white and mix it in with that gray. Just a little bit. Not much at all. And just on certain spots, like right here. And down here. Definitely. Okay, and then you want to get a different brush and you're going to blend that. You're just going to blend it out. And sometimes I just get my finger and just kind of smear it out. have to let him dry and he should be good as new. Awesome. Ah. Okay, thank you for watching Fix It Friday. I hope you enjoyed this edition. Um, this is my first one so it's a little rough. I'm a little trying to figure out how the camera's working and the angles I need. So bear with me. They will get better. Um, so I will see you next time. Make sure you check out my blog at unorganizedcrazyproduction.com. Bye. Okay, so once the glue has dried, you still can see the cracks very visible. So you really want to paint over it. <clears throat> so we're going to start with some green over here, and then we'll work our way that way. And to paint over the crack, you just tap the green into it. And you want to put quite a bit in there. Because it will kind of help mask the crack. Okay, 
paint and then you just rub it in with your finger or really anything you have. You can use like a piece of paper or cardboard to rub it in if you don't want to get it on your finger. Okay, so the crack's still a little visible, but it's not too bad. So we're going to go ahead and go on to the brown colors. And you do the same thing, you just load your brush up and tap it in there. Like that. And then you use your fingers to blend it in. And if you want to add some black, like if you have a darker color like mine, you would add a, you can add a little black or you can just rub it in some more. visible crack there so we are going to fill that in with some more fix it all adhesive and I'm going to use a paintbrush to really get it into the crack And my finger. Another thing you can do is you can go ahead and just put a big strip on the crack. Pretty good size. Then you let it dry for a few minutes. and then we'll smooth it out. While that's drying, you want to go through and see if there's any other places you can touch up. And it's already flattened out quite a bit. You can't already tell. Then you take your glue brush and you just roll it on the top of it ever so lightly to pick up some of the excess. Once it just dries a tiny bit. I'm just rolling it on the top to get some of that excess glue off of it. Be 
be careful not to take too much off. And this will help seal the crack even more. And then you will let that dry and make sure you look at it periodically to make sure there's no um, holes in the crack, like it's not settling, which it already is. You can just add another dot where it is settling. And then we'll, we are going to paint over that as soon as it's dry. Okay. You want to, you can already put some paint on top. until finger use your finger to blend it in The crack won't always disappear. But we are going to let that set. It's almost gone. You can barely even tell there's a crack there. You do the same thing with the brown. And then you'll probably want to add just a little bit of black to it. You can always 
go back over and paint it again too. Color's not too important at the moment, but you do want to make sure it blends well. Okay. I truly cannot count how many times I've touched this guy up. So we just let that finish drying. Um, and I will show you how to finish the back and we should be good done. Oh, and wipe, you want to get a paper towel and wipe up all the excess paint on the leaf part or if there's a big crack anywhere and you painted it, you want to make sure you wipe up the excess. So I'm going to do that right now. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so when you finish the front, you want to turn it over and find the crack on the back. And you just want to seal that also. To do this, all you have to do is put some glue over it. It doesn't have to be a lot. And you just want to make sure everything's sealed. And it's not going to break. And make sure you get the edges. And then you just let that dry and it's going to be ready to hang up. I hope you enjoyed this um, segment of Fix It Friday. And if you have any questions on fixing other plaster and ceramic items, um, just let me know. Um, thanks for watching and again check out my blog at unorganizedcrazyperfection.com.